Check one, test two, check. And testing, check one. Testing, check one, two, test. Testing, check one, two, test. Checking, test one, two. Checking, test one, two, check. Awesome, I think we're live here. Is anybody gonna start coming in here? Ah, very good, there's Rocco. There we are, good buddy. <clears throat> there we are, very good. Let me tweet this out. Oh, you know what? I, uh, hold on. Maybe I can do it from here. Hold on. I'm gay. Let's see here. Testing, testing. I'm gay. How do I share this? Uh, well, maybe I can just hold on. Let me close this here. Uh, here we go. Testing, testing, I'm gay. How do I share this? Uh, Very good. Well, maybe I can just hold on. Uh, I don't want to tweet it at Brett. I'll be a little nicer to the guy. Uh, here we go. Testing, testing, I'm gay. How do I share this? Uh, Very good. Well, maybe I can just hold on. There we go. Very good. Uh, I don't want to tweet it at Brett. Be a little nicer to the guy. Uh, here we go. Testing, testing, I'm gay. How do I share this? Uh, Very good. Well, maybe I can just hold on. There we go. Very good. All right. Uh, Very I'm good. Brett. There we are. Be a little nicer to the guy. Uh, here we go. Recorded Books presents an unabridged recording of No Country for Old Men. I just want to share my favorite what part. What to wear. There was one or two come dressed in black, which I suppose was all right. Some of the men come just in their shirt sleeves, and that kindly bothered me. Who, eh, like out of church or... Uh, quite a few people, some of them I think had at one time. You see somebody every day, sometimes for years, and then one day you walk that man down the hallway and put him to death, well... That'll take some of the cackle out of just about anybody. I don't care who it is. And, of course, some of them boys was not very bright. Chaplain Pickett told me about one he'd ministered to, and he ate his last meal, and he'd ordered this dessert, ever what it was. And it come time to go, and Pickett, he asked him, didn't he want his dessert? And the old boy told him he was saving it for when he come back. I don't know what to say about that. Pickett didn't either. I never had to kill nobody, and I am very glad of that fact. Some of the old-time sheriffs wouldn't even carry a firearm. A lot of folks find that hard to believe, but it's a fact. Jim Scarborough never carried one. That's the younger Jim. Gaston Boykins wouldn't wear one, up in Comanche County. I always like to hear about the old-timers. Never missed a chance to do so. The old-time concern that the sheriffs had for their people has been watered down some. You can't help but feel it. Nigger Hoskins over in Bastrop County knowed everybody's phone number in the what whole the hell? county by heart. It's a hard thing when you come to think about it. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just awful. Good Lord. Jesus, Cormac's gonna get us kicked off of YouTube. God, god damn. Oh man. Yes. Ready, boy. Hello. Stars of Stranger Things uh, has got a little side hustle going. Brett Gelman, who plays Murray, That's exactly on Things, how you put it, is now an author. <laughs> A Stranger Things star Brett Gelman has a little side hustle going. It's called being Jewish. 
He has written a book of short stories. Nice side hustle, Brett. He's already hit a little bit of a speed bump. Doesn't have anything to do with the, the book or the stories, um, but it's really about Brett, Brett's... Brett Gelman is an actor and writer, and he makes a little money on the side by being Jewish. Uh, very passionate defense of Israel since the terrorist attack on, on October 7th. Who is and this guy, by the way? Now some backlash as he's been out trying to promote the book. Um, we we actually last month saw this with uh, Madi. This I mean Hamas. Well, so what? Oh, what happened? I want to see Brett's Brett's intro. Has had constant talk to us about the book and about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah! Some of those uh, rescheduled gigs. Uh, so joining us right now is Brett Gelman. Welcome to TMZ Live. Hey, Brett. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, good to see you. Why don't you tell us? Because the book very isn't funny about start. the war. Very funny but start. But your position on the war has had consequences. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I, you know, I've been an advocate for Israel and uh, its right to defend itself. Um, uh, that doesn't mean that I'm not critical of the Netanyahu government or... And that also doesn't mean that I don't empathize with the innocent Palestinians who are dying. Boring. Brett's not funny. He sucks. Let's see if it's funny. So that people boring would Israel. Boo. So ironically, what they Boo, did you're boring. You suck ass. Was, just the first. Was, was the first step in an end game to turn. It's so funny that TMZ has to weigh in on Palestine and Israel now. I mean, look at these. Look at these two retards. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at both of these retards. This like Chinese steroid trimbalone retard on the left. Uh and then on the right, you know, it's it's just a crackhead Wayne's brother no one's ever heard about. World against Israel. I completely agree. I mean, you know, Hamas unlike uh, you know, they love to do the the hummus Hamas. They love to do the huh. It's My just Hamas. Liberals are it's just, it's like hamburger to um, see how another type of person thinks. Um, and so they were able to see, you know, uh, they did the classic thing that's done to the Jewish people, make them into the thing that people hate the most right now, which in this case is the oppressor, you know? Um, and so by by building their tunnels under civilian mm -hmm. communities, by making... Boring, Brett! Boring. Enjoy Boo. Not being mean, they read it. Boo. Uh, anyway, congrats on the book. Congrats on the book. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you can reschedule some of these. Uh, and yeah. And get out there hopefully and, you can reschedule you know, it for I the tens of people that are going to show up. Good. And by the way, Brett, I'm going to be one of them. Thing that people should be talking yep. about. It should be a conversation. And thank you for having to do that, too. You're encouraging it, too. Way more than me. So. Oh, Brett. Oh, Brett. Oh, Brett. What? What happened? Oh, here we go. Atlanta. Fuck. Palo Alto. I don't want to fly up there. I guess I could. Maybe we could schedule a live lemon party the day of the Palo Alto, but do it in San Francisco. Let's see what day it is. Sales ended. What the hell? Brett sucks. He stinks. Oh, I really appreciate Let's see. I think he posted as well. His, like, poster. His gay poster. Palo Alto. March 21st, Thursday. What's today? It's like uh, last week. God damn it. No, I missed all of them. Damn it. Brett, publish another book. I want you to sign my balls. Okay, sorry, everybody. I'm downloading the YouTube app so I can... Uh, so I can uh, see the super chats here. Let me see what we're working with, y'all. What you working with? What you working with, y'all? Top messages. Okay, I gotta. So let me sign in to the other one so I can see the donations. Hold on, just bear with me. 
Eh. Eh. Can you guys see? I guess I have to look. If I'm looking up, can you guys see me from this angle? The problem is I don't have this other monitor to put the webcam. And down here, you can't really see me. It's just like pointing up into my nose. Whatever. I'll figure something out. Okay, let's see here. Chat filter. Fan funding. There we go. Florida Gator with the 10 says, you should watch KY Brew Review Everclear Review. The opportunities for abuse are just about everywhere. There's no requirements in the Texas state constitution for being a sheriff. Not a one. There's no such thing as a county law. You think about a job. Oh, shit, shit. Uh, Pixelante with the five says, Excited to see you dudes in Boston. I will be dressed like the Scorsese Irishman. Hell yes. Uh, by the way, for any Boston people, uh, they released some more tickets. People keep posting. I've even seen on the Reddit. People have been emailing me, tweeting at me to release more tickets for Boston. They released more. You guys just have to go back to the link on LemonParty.life if you're in Boston and grab them. There's like none left, but it's just stayed right there because everybody thinks it's sold out. So if you want to grab the last of them, go and get them. It'll be sold out probably within a week if people discover that. Uh, Caleb Linder with the dollar ninety nine says, "Say something nice about my boy Brett Gelman." Uh, Brett's a fantastic writer, and uh, as Brett's a beautiful psychopath who I love dearly, and I don't want to treat his head like a volleyball. Brett is a beautiful man, and I don't want to stick my fingers in his skull as if it's a bowling ball and and roll a strike down at my local alley. How's that? Is that nice? I don't I don't want to treat Brett Gelman's head like that bowling ball that Janine Groffalo uses in Mystery Men. Is that nice? I don't want to feed Brett Gelman uh uh dog food until he explodes. Is that nice? You should watch KY Brew Review Everclear Review. It's gotta be this one. to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. And tonight, we are... First of all, I already love the names. Kicks a lot of ass. And by the way, this is really just... I, I want to make fun of these guys. This is basically just Lemon Party. And this is what the podcast will look like in about... I mean, let's be honest, like five years. We're teetering on the edge of all looking like utter shit. <sighs> Everclear. We are we are doing Everclear. We're going to consume Everclear. Grain alcohol. Straight. Um, it's 95% uh, alcohol by volume or 190 proof. Uh, it has caution, extremely flammable, handle with care. There's another warning label after that. It says, warning, overconsumption can endanger your health. I've taken shots of and Everclear before. It's them. tough. Radar, you want to read the final one? Really feels like you're drinking gasoline. Flame. Keep away from fire, heat, and open flame. Contents may ignite or explode. Now, you see, <laughs> this guy loves to. He thinks uh, he's the funny one of the group because he talks like a villain in Powerpuff Girls. Listen to him. Contents may ignite or, or explode. explode. Now, you see, Woo do not, do not assume in excessive right. quantities. If you, if you touched not his penis, his head would turn into a hot air balloon, he would float into the stratosphere. Man or woman, by the way. Intended for consumption unless mixed with a non-alcoholic beverage. Well, good thing now. we're drinking it straight. <laughs> now, back in well, my good thing we're drinking it straight. Guys, these are these are deep, deep uh, layers of sarcasm. Very deep layers of sarcasm. Try to keep up with these three guys. The three splooges. I would get Everclear. And I would make fireballs out of it. Whoa, son! Chill. Dude. <laughs> Man, it's it's the only thing worse than like milady, mm, like improv guys in their around 18, 19, 20 is once they become 
of legal age that they start getting into like ales. I guarantee you these guys, they make meads in their garage. They drink wine out of like King's goblets and stuff. I'm getting a little pissed off. <laughs> You're drinking all that. I am. I have no love. Go I, I have I have only much. hate in my heart for these three, and I hope they all take a shot of this and have to go to the hospital. I'm not, look, that's not very much. It's not easy to do, that. and I believe oh, most doctors recommend that you don't drink this straight. It's too it's too hard on your stomach. We've been keeping it in the freezer, so it really hurts. Muted. I've done uh, it. It does not feel vodka, good. Honestly. Oh my god. I wonder if it counts as vodka. It burns my eyes. Hate all three of you so <sighs> much. No, it yeah, just smells it like it smells like straight al rubbing alcohol, and it really, actually, Which is actually it's stronger than rub this is stronger than it, rubbing it alcohol. The like T-shirt section at Target was made for these three gentlemen right here. Polish remover. Um, it like I guarantee you, all three of them have an orange crush T-shirt in their closet somewhere because they love the evolution of dance videos so much on YouTube in 2009. To, we used to get they would they would 2006 bottles. actually when I was working for Walmart as a as a mop jockey they would take bottles of nail polish remover off the shelf just rip the labels off of it and that's what we used to remove really tough stains from the floors uh, that's exactly what, this, is, this smells like the blue version of nail polish remover don't drink this straight gas I I don't even want got to the uh, Coke that. Zero and uh, Chick Fil A uh, Diet Arnold Palmer mix going. I just want to say excellent video suggestion so far. I hate all three of these guys. Smooth. They really smooth. suck my ass. It's very smooth. Smooth. <laughs> wow. Like, I wiped it off my lips with my finger, and it's totally evaporated. I can feel it evaporating in my mouth as I was drinking Wait, it. Is it. It burns. Even though it's very cold, it's hot. Yeah, that's weird. Like, as you're drinking it, it tastes cold. Alvin and the shit chunks. Fuck all three of these retards. I can't go on. I can't go on. I will go on. Uh, Caleb Linder. Oh, wait, we got that. Pixelante is coming out to Boston. Thank you, Pixelante. See you guys in Boston, May 4th, and New York City. Uh, they just told me, because we added a second show in New York, The we did an early show Sunday for you early risers um, at 5. That show is basically sold out. There's um, There's a few tickets left. So you can go by that if you really want to see us in New York. But that's your only shot. We're not going to do three shows in New York. We're just doing two. Um, let's see here. What? I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Next time we do one of these tours, we need to do bigger venues. We're moving a lot more tickets in these places than we thought we would. So, And thank you guys for coming out. This is all a trial run to see if you guys even want to come out to see the live pods. Uh, Nate with the five says, are you still checking the P.O. box? Sit you boys something special for the studio. I need to. I've been really busy with car stuff this week. I need to check the P.O. box. It's been almost two weeks since I've checked it. I apologize, Nate. I will check it. Uh, actually, I should probably check it tomorrow. Clint with the 1999. Holy shit. Thanks, Clint. Thank you, buddy. Hi, Ben. Glad you're enjoying being a dad. Happy for you and your wife. The Southern Snack is great. He's a hick. Joey's World Tour. You guys might also like Mark Norman being a moron on Chris Williamson. The Southern Snack. All right. What are we working with here, y'all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Best part of the chicken. What you working with, y'all? Mm. That's the I'm doing the impression of Big Country when he's looking at the big plate of ribs. Here, I'll show you. Because it, it, it's like stuck in my mind. Hold on. Big Country Ribs. What you working with here, y'all? Yeah. Mmm. Baby back ribs. Yeah. Y'all. Oh, my wife done not done a suck a gay, y'all. She done a suck a gay, y'all. She done a kill a gay, y'all. Oh, my wife done not done a suck a day, y'all. Let me show you what we're working with. Let me show you what we're working with. What is that? Baby, baby, oh, ribs. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> 
Big old <laughs> butter bang. <laughs> and I said, oh, what is it? Oh, garlic butter croissant. Oh, my good. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's going to fuck the food. Oh, man, I love Big Country so much. Uh, so someone told me to check out Clint here. It said, check out this Southern snack. Okay, Clint, I'm just going to do. I'm not liking anything I'm seeing. Hate the hate the thumbnails. Really bad. Really shitty. Hate his face. Hate his hat. Hate his choice of shirts. Hate his eyes. I hate the uh, the very windows to his soul. I like nothing about this guy. So this one has 19,000 for some reason. Okay, this is like, uh, you know, someone shuffling a deck of cards and, you know, trying to... I got to go off intuition here. This is my version of tarot card reading. Man, he really sucks my ass. Completely worthless human being. Completely fucking worthless. A seven minute video reviewing a candy bar. Kill yourself. Oh God, of course he has retard friends. I don't know if I can click on any of these. These really suck my ass. God, fuck this guy. <laughs> Snack, where laugh is too short to be serious. Guess what? It's back! And this is great news for a lot of you folks out there that have been upset with McDonald's for taking your favorite thing away because it's pretty imminent that they're going to bring your stuff back. Um, there were leaks a while ago. Oh, there's a poster for the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. And oh, look, there's posters for the snack wrap. And then you're like, oh, this is just regional, or oh, this is fake. I don't think any of it was fake. I think it may have been short-term regional, but, and I don't see a poster out here. At least I haven't looked good enough, but the steak, egg, and cheese bagel is back. It's got steak, onions, egg, cheese, and let's go ahead and do a thumbnail and then review. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Nice slab of steak. I don't even know what kind of steak it is, but I don't care. All I care about is how it tastes. I've never had this thing before. Can you tell? All right, go ahead and subscribe, and let's get down to eating. Mm. I hate when you can take one look at somebody and see the shape of their bones. It's really upsetting. This looks like a guy in a Western film who gets bucked off of his horse and dies immediately. He doesn't die by, like, running into the Indians or anything. He just, like, gets bit by a rattlesnake or a horse kicks his head off. McDonald's iconic. You know, he's in some wild Bill type of gang, but he's, a like, a satellite figure who gets just fucking, like, rocked by the sheriff. Gets his head clean taken off by a cannonball. He's... Mm -mm 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 -mm. The bagel, nice and firm, and then the steak. You know what I'd like to do? I like I like for this guy to sit at the end of a dock or a pier, eating a steak and egg and cheese bagel, and I would like to be in a bass fishing boat or some sort of some sort of charter fishing boat, maybe. And I would like to drive into him, going about a hundred miles per fucking hour. I'd like to drive straight into the dock. I'd, I'd like to get a 20-mile head start from from inland and head straight toward him. I'd like to split him wide fucking open as he's staring into the camera and has no idea what's about to hit him. I'd, I'd destroy this guy. I would, I would hit him so hard the boat would go into his fucking throat and out his ass. As he takes a big bite, the stern. It's a stern, right? Is it the, is the front the stern? I can't remember it. Either way, the pointy part of the boat would go through his fucking head.
It's very much what. Really hate people. that I can't tell if this guy's one of those 44 year old dudes who's been embalmed through chemicals from fast food places, or if he's just 18 and he. I really I hate when I can't like get an ID on somebody. Two. With his fucking witness protection program haircut and. I mean, he looks like he's, this is like, it's facial hair that a spy would wear in a movie. That they have. Like, it's like a He looks like though. young Colonel, if you took Colonel right. Sanders' photo and then you did a face app thing but made him younger, he would look like this. This is a 27-year-old Colonel Sanders. Steak is very much of that texture and flavor of your typical. Yeah, I can't watch it anymore, this guy. Uh, Eli with the five says, do you think too lazy to try will cover the Dylan Farnham situation? What's the Dylan Farnham situation? Is everything okay, Dylan? Dylan, are you okay? Sound off in the comments if Dylan Farnham is okay. One day I'm going to commit to coming out to one of the live shows. Love the content, man. Oh, Vandal with the 999. Thank you, Vandal. Uh, I can't remember where Vandal lives. Where the hell does Vandal live? Vandal, you live in Pittsburgh or something, or or Philly? I mean, if you come out to Philly, I'm sure we're gonna have some big Philly guests too. I mean, you should come out to that, buddy. I know you, you know, you live in a basement and huff spray paint all day and make little, you make little uh, figurines to. Uh, I, I, Vandal, I gotta be completely honest. I have no idea what you do. You, you somehow make a living building tech deck dudes in your basement you build like little dudes on like skateboards and you make action figures for for people who are about to kill themselves from what i can tell and it seems like business is good i can't hate on that vandal and your shit looks really good everybody should follow vandal and buy your shit florida gator with the 10 says these guys have so many good videos they are better the drunker they are What guys have good? Oh, the uh, you're talking about the 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 original guys, the KC guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida Gator, you're the KY Brew Review Everclear guy. They're better the drunker they are. Those guys, they they suck ass though. I can't do it with those three. I knew too too many guys like that. I knew too many Christian. Uh, com like guys who think they're comedians who are just like my, my lady ooh, <laughs> reading the back of an ingredient label, very sort of smarmy and strange and like Shakespearean, that type of guy. They all get into brewing their own cider and making their own mead and they become fat alcoholics who have really bad lives, uh, but they'll never admit it. And uh, they kind of model their personality off of like uh, Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory or something like that. Or some of them try to then in their later years start acting like Barney from uh, How I Met Your Mother. They really, really stink and suck my ass. Anybody who wears a T-shirt with a joke on it should kill themselves. And they all all their shirts say like female body inspector or whatever. What did, what did his shirt say? It said... Uh, let me go back to this retard. It's straight. <laughs> I know karate and like two other Japanese words. Yeah, he sucks ass. <laughs> now, back in my younger days, I would get Everclear. He's a 25-year-old man. Burns. Yeah, that's interesting. Seriously, do not drink this straight. Seriously, do not. Okay. Oh, may explode. E ex explode. Explode. Oh, God. There's almost no peach flavor in that. Yeah, it's 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 subtle, but it's it's there. Um, yeah, as they get fatter, they just grow bigger beards, and they. <laughs> I I hate guys who have bars like this in their house. <laughs> ah, I only have respect for soda artisans. I do not respect the brewmaster guys. 
I have no respect for guys who make beer in their garage. You really suck my ass. Get into reviewing sodas. Nobody gives a fuck about the new Voodoo Ranger hard charge tea. Voodoo Ranger is for truckers that smoke crystal meth. So, like a peach one is just a little bit better, but... Voodoo Ranger is the gayest beer on the planet. I still think Twisted Tea is going to hand them their ass, though. (laughs) Right. It's hard to compete with Twisted Tea. I think that's Samuel, Sam, Samuel Adams owns Twisted Tea. Voodoo Ranger it's Twisted Tea. It's for Bart Simpson. It's for is. fucking <laughs> Bart yeah, Simpson. The, the best it's not is. for you two retards. Mm, raspberry candy. I was about to say, this one doesn't smell like tea. <laughs> the rest of them smell like tea. The, the, just the, the bashful beer nerd. You got to hate the bashful beer nerd. There's nothing worse. What happened to the other guy? Did he die? He's not in the videos anymore. What, did he get hit by a milk truck? <laughs> Look at these retards. These characters were in the early drafts of Clerks, but they were so boring, Kevin Smith wrote them out of the movie. Say, tell, tell. It's, 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 it's really sweet. That's, I wasn't expecting to be that sweet. I mean, it's, it is. This is a sweet mash, right? This is a. Yeah. I've, I've never tried sweet mash before by itself. That's that's interesting. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty sweet. All right, now Go on a return. walk. Go on a fucking walk. You guys get like 400 steps a day. Go on a walk. Stop cosplaying as fucking kings and queens that drink meat all day and eat like turkey. It's Renaissance Fair retards. But they can't even commit to that. A little sour, sweet. Great, great, Very sour. sour and sweet. I mean, great, great review. Taste, you know. Yeah, it's interesting. Bourbon at this little stage, yeah. grainy. Yeah. A little bit grainy, yeah. Yeah. yeah you want the ra- <laughs> mic back I radar? Take the radar. The the mic back <laughs> radar. <laughs> why is that guy? Why is that guy giving them a tour of this yeah, place? Yeah. yeah. You want the ra- <laughs> mic back I radar? Take the radar. The the mic back radar. Three hundred and forty barrels. I think that's what's in the truck. Tell you what, that makes a lot of planners. And he's yeah, always got to wear a shirt like this. Uh, Jake Hauser, 999. Ben, please look up drag syndrome. I think I know this. Uh... Yeah, it's already, I've already typed it in. I've definitely seen this. Yep, I've watched this video. I'll, I'll watch this one because I haven't, I've already seen that one. Drag Syndrome is celebrating their big premiere in Berlin. They're Britain's first professional drag collective for performers with Down Syndrome. The feeling I get when I'm performing is to um, be more myself. Hey, I'm Nick. I'm AKA Nikita Gold. Dame Nikita Gold. I am Adam Wilde, aka Lady Mercury. Lady Mercury is a. Um, it is funny that European lady. drag retards like still have a better grasp on the English off. language than yeah. Americans. Yeah. Nick, Adam, and the other members of Drag Syndrome. These take people on are more fit to host a daily show stage. than anybody in the for United them, States. It's a rebellion against society and a statement for more diversity and inclusion for people with disabilities. Plus, it's a whole lot of fun. I mean, the the thing is, it's like, usually people who do drag are already so fucking ugly. It's like, I don't know if this is really that different. I mean, no offense. It's just like, no offense to people who do drag, but it's never like, you know, you never see like a guy like Brad Pitt doing drag. You know, it's usually a guy who looks like he's in the, he looks like a guy that, uh, okay. Usually people doing drag, it looks like somebody that Scott Adams drew for, like, Dilbert. But then, you know, you put a dress on him. 
so I'll, I'll show continents. you. I'll show you. Yeah, I mean this is this is pretty much everybody. That's everybody that does drag. Right there. It's nobody you you really are, you know, you're not nobody's uh chomping at the bit to fuck them. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, I mean this is this only makes sense. Drag Syndrome is 18. The members have toured on several continents. They've also performed at the famous Glastonbury Festival and for the fashion magazine Vogue. I've been dancing for 10 years. I love dancing so much. And that's what I really do it all the Beautiful. time. Beautiful. It's still rare to see people with Down Syndrome it's performing rare. on stage. The Dance Collective wants to encourage other people with disabilities to pursue their passion. I don't, like, as we've got dumber, I don't know if these people, I don't these people have the same level of intelligence as everybody in the crowd? I mean, look at everybody cheering. Passion. Who's more retarded? That, that guy pretending this is good or the people jumping up and down on with light-up shoes and clown wigs on stage? This is, look, it's a sea of retards. Who who's leaving their house to show up to something like this? This sucks ass. If you're doing this, you're you're a fucking dumbass. Are they, folks? I want you to ask yourself: Do I have Down syndrome? It was all amazing. The main thing is accessibility and visibility because that's what Down we want. syndrome is like a basic line of intelligence, right? It's just kind of everybody that has Down syndrome kind of stays right here. We'll keep taking a dip and retarded people will actually stay here and then they'll be the new geniuses. Look, that guy's a retard. That guy's more retarded than the guys on stage. It's up everywhere, but the question is, where do we actually... Yeah, see, this guy thinks this is important and cares. That's way more retarded than what they're doing. And I've never seen a show like this before. The artists of drag syndrome stand. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Expression. Caleb Linder with the 499 says, "Watch Red Bar, Mike scenes, Wrecking Ball, and also add Seattle to your next LP tour, please." We're not all Jeff Tiedrick types up here. Uh, Seattle, yeah, we need to go to the Northwest. And uh, okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, I don't want to watch Red Bar clips. Uh. Also, you only gave five, Caleb. No offense, but also I I don't want to watch Red Bar clips. It's, I don't. I, it's not that I hate the guy. I just I don't I don't give a shit. Uh, for all two ten says, where are the boys? Hi Ben, can you flip a burnt house by Ben Mala, please? Flip. Can you flip a burnt house by Ben Mala? Can you flip a burnt house by Ben Mala? I think we watched this the last time. In this episode, Paul went and found the cheapest house in the entire area. This guy's one of my favorites. A new hotel. You have an Complete scumbag. I I I'll give you my son. Complete scumbag. <laughs> Here we are. He's just a bullfrog that loves money. Your newest real estate show looking at what's at the bottom of the barrel. Today, our special guest Dude, will be Rafal. I, you won't see him because his he's tits are but it's like when a woman has one tit bigger than the other. I guess that happens with men too. That is unsightly and very unfortunate. Looking for a house. Rafal went and found the cheapest house in the entire area to buy. Right here is your beautiful natural driveway. Now you talk about an open floor plan. It don't get no more open than this baby. Wide open. Look at this fresh air flowing. This is a good project for you, Rafal. Come on in, make yourself at home. Look at this. These are terrazzo floors. People pay big money for these. They last forever. Look, the house is gone. Bin Malah, this is what? He's like, he's Persian, he's Arab. Is this like Arabian John Taffer, essentially? Uh, 
I guess this is the living room, but this is the whole house. All right, so it's real simple, Rafal. You finish up these walls, you get like, some cinder blocks, you get some cement, you finish building a fucking- This type cement. of content, the thing that's always blocks. bothered me about it is just the soundtrack of the whole thing. Then you get a guy to come in here. I hate he that. Puts up the roof it really takes me out of it. Roof on. Okay. I hate the then sound effects decide, too. It makes me nauseous. There's your plumbing. There's yeah, it your makes me nauseous. Baby, right there. Here's your living room, bedroom, bedroom, and also you have a garage. I didn't see you. Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh shit! Somebody left. The, that was the lighter that started the fire. Holy shit, that's the evidence. Is this guy Always actually retarded? Yours. It's on the Or is he just playing into it? I think this guy's playing into being a big retard. 50 and knock it down. That's the plan. We got our construction expert here, Tony. Wait, will they you actually buy this baby? and build it out in the whole video? That's what this place is for. Limited service. So you're throwing a free breakfast. And it's got a gym and a pool. I mean, you know, this place needs sprucing up. Wait, is this guy staying at a crack, crack house when he's on the road? Here's where you get your free breakfast. I hate free breakfast because you waste a bunch of food. You got waffles, boiled eggs, souffle, jalapeno, three cheese. See, certain brands, they require you to give the guest a free breakfast. Why? This is what you call a limited service. You ever see hotel. a guy and you just know hotel. he has stomach cancer? This guy must, like, this guy shit's black. This guy's shit looks like well, decaf coffee. Stay and it's supposed to be very convenient. They're put in certain locations where they're tied to places where people need to come. An apartment building, get away with some stuff in an apartment building. I don't think I'll be getting in with him. I'm a biker today, baby. I got a turbo and a bimbo. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be a real fucking retard to watch this, huh? Yeah, people love him. People think he kicks ass. People think retards kick ass. Yeah, this this uh, hot lady is addicted to his content for some reason. She'll fuck him, too. People genuinely weighing in on the investment. Yeah, it's really bad. Eli with the two says, make the damn video properly formatted. Chat too big. Uh, No, I like the chat. I like the chat that size. It looks good to me. It's got four upvotes, though. So, the people have spoken. There we go. You get what you fucking deserve. Hannibal with the SEK50 says, I barely understand what the fuck he's saying, but Big Country is by far the most likable mukbanger you've shown us. They're simply, I mean, Big Country currently holds the key to my heart, currently. I love him so much. There's genuinely no one better. In the current moment, he has crested the hill of my soul, and he's cooking up catfish, catch catfish frying right on the boat. Catch the catfish fry right on the boot. Who is this lady? He's married to uh, Bilbo Baggins at the end of his life. Is this uh, what his wife looks like hey, now? Y'all, y'all just cut me off. Birthday wish. <laughs> Thank all y'all that sucked me out. Thank all of y'all that sucked me off. Birthday wish. I'm uh, 69 years old. Thank all of y'all that took me off. Thank all of y'all that took me off. Appreciate it. I'm uh, 59 years old and homeless. Uh, um, That's a great pick. 
I thank the Lord for all. Let me live this long. Hopefully, I have plenty more birthdays to come. I spent it with my <laughs> family. I went to Chattanooga. I spent my but did my birthday with with my my three sons, the Budweiser Frogs. We went out. We had a good time, and everybody sucked me up. I had uh, fish dinner, and I had a milkshake. God bless y'all. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so fucking. I'm so fucking mean. This is a woman at the end of her life. Thank all of y'all that shut me off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank all of y'all that shut me off. What they win? Thank all of y'all that suck me off. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is good. They're deciding to feed their children Everybody, for a change. Somebody asked how I make the puppy mush, and they want to see me do <laughs> it. And they're going to put the puppies in that blender. And want to see me feed the puppies. So here and, I got a Pyrex bowl. Mm, see what we're working with today. Uh, here, mm, mm. This little cup full of hot tap water. Mm, what we're working here, with today. Uh, I got some puppy chow mix. That's about to all, all these people do is we, think about uh, food. At uh, 8 a.m., 4 p.m., and midnight. Sleep a few hours. And then wake up, play. I know what puppy's life is. <laughs> Aww. I love that sound. It's a great, um, that's good a ASMR there. right there. He was the smallest one, but he's he's getting he's putting on weight pretty good now. <laughs> you see big country come into frame and start licking from the ball. <laughs> he starts growling at the other puppies. She we're working with today. Uh. Tommy Guns with the dollar. Thank you, Tommy Guns. Nate Harger with the five. Thank you, Nate Harger. Nate Harger subscribes to my Twitter too. Thanks to everybody that subs to my Twitter. I applied to have a subscription thing on Twitter like two years ago, and they just approved me. Apparently, I put it at $2 a month. So if you want to see tweets that I n normally wouldn't publish because people would just call me gay or think I've lost my mind, you can subscribe to my Twitter there. And Elon gives you 100% of the profits. And now my wife can't get mad at me for getting on Twitter from time to time. Eli with the five says, watch Goodbye YouTube by Dylan Farnham 14. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, you know what? Uh, Dylan usually posts just on shorts. Huh. Goodbye, YouTube by Dylan Farnham 14. Nothing showing up. Um... Uh, this is, I think this is Dylan. Yeah, this is Dylan, but he, this was a great, this is a great video from Dylan. <laughs> this is a car he was working on. Yeah, it's not on Dylan's channel. So, oh, here we go. Hey there. Uh, Wait, is this what Dylan looks like now? This is going to be probably the last video I make on YouTube. I'm pretty much done with this platform. 
Um, if I do go to another platform, it might be Rumble or something a little bit more free. But feel that, I brother. Can't <clears throat> stand being around fucking YouTube. It's so goddamn toxic. Like the mm-hmm. other day, I made a a fucking comment saying about this one comedian that he, uh, you know, he's taking well butrin and he's lashing out constantly. You know. <laughs> Uh, ironically making <laughs> jokes about how much he loves to goon and Wait, is it hour just 15? Like lashing out at the fans. And this has like, to be oh, a joke, I was, right, I was Dylan? Being ironic, you know, like I don't really hate them. And then just making the same like stupid joke over and over again. Like, he's uh, Dylan's happy. gone. Like the whole thing is just so-and-so is so stupid that they eat inanimate objects. Like, that's the same routine over and over again. Uh, Or fucking make a book reference or a movie reference, and somehow it's fucking genius. Damn, Dylan's gone now. That guy read that fucking book that I read, too, and it's so obscure. Or that movie that I watched. You know, that character or that actor that... Damn, I didn't know you guys took this so seriously. I guess... Is it hour 15? Realize that this is all BS and just went giant psyop to keep us fighting is that <clears throat> I knew black skinheads and I knew <laughs> neo Nazis. I hope Dylan's okay. I think Dylan's a great guy. Uh, I hope we didn't say anything to like, uh, you know, piss him off or whatever. But come back, Dylan. We love you, buddy. Robert DiGiorno with the 499 says, you guys skipped me last time because you had already seen it, so please accept the discount request. Look up Liam Neeson Earthquake. Oh, I saw this on Twitter. I saw this on Twitter like, uh... shit, I saw this not too long ago. I think... I think this is the interview. I don't want to hear the audio because I love the Twitter. Hold on. Let's go to Twitter. Oopsie. Yeah, here we go. Shoot, but there was an earthquake, Joey, and that must have been quite terrifying for yourself and all of the cast members. Terrifying. I was in a hotel on the 19th floor in the morning and the building shook. I'd been in an earthquake before in LA. For some reason it was different. I got under a doorway because they all say, get under a doorway. And as I was standing there in the room shaking, I thought, this is crazy. So I got my passport, went out into the hallway and the hallway was going like this. I'm not exaggerating. He is a great storyteller. a little lady dressed in black, who was the manageress of that floor. She was knocking on the doors with her clipboard, checking the rooms had been cleaned to the right perfection. All the rest of it. She turned and saw me like this up against the door. And she said, ah, no problem, no problem. I'd be here 20 years, no problem. <laughs> that was it. But it was scary. <laughs> I mean, this sounds like an incredible shoot, but there was an earthquake during- Oh, that rules. I'm sorry. I just saw that it wasn't showing on my uh, thing. Let me uh, let me make my video smaller. That's my bad. Make this a little smaller. There we go. Yeah, this should be this should be better now. Sorry, boys. Julian, that must have been quite terrifying for yourself and all of the cast members. Terrifying. I was in a hotel, and then she turned and saw me like this up against the door. And she said, ah, no problem, no problem. I'd be here 20 years, no problem. That was it. Should be able to see now. It lags a little bit. Yeah, that was better. Okay, cool. Yeah, my video was probably too big. Um, Wilson Wright with the 999 says, uh, Nick or Adam going to pop by any of the East Coast shows? Uh, I don't know. I was just texting Nick today. Uh, he sent me a really funny sketch that they did on Adam Freeland's show where Nick's playing this therapist. And fuck, he's so... His impressions are so good and so funny. 
Um, when I'm in New York, I'll hit up Nick or Adam to see if they want to do a, a spot on my show. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to be in New York that long, so I don't know if I don't know if I'll hang out with those guys or not. Because then we got to go to Philly. Connor's family's there, and we're staying with them in Philly, so we're not even really. We're spending like no time in Boston or New York, and then just getting to Philly and doing Philly and DC. So. Uh, also, longtime fan. Thank you, Wilson Wright. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the show. Even though it's so hateful and vile, it brings me joy. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Ian Tube with the Canadian Tent says, Hi, Ben. Love you. Please watch Fire Truck Attacking People with Sirens. This guy lives near me in downtown Toronto and thinks firefighters are tormenting the community. Fire truck attacking people with sirens. Fire truck attacking people with sirens. Listen to this. Listen to this guy. Listen to what he's doing. Listen, listen to this guy. 9.30 at night. Look at this. Listen to this guy. And I, what I'm telling you is this, right? Look. Look. No cars in the road, right? Look, no car. Look, look to yourself. Look at this guy. Look at what he's doing. Look, no cars. Just this fucking nut. Look at this fucking crazy man. Right? Look at that fucking crazy man. Honestly. That fucking crazy man. <laughs> fucking crazy, honestly. Just a fucking crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows that. Does he think firemen are just like civilians who have bought fire trucks? Like, does he think a fire? Tr there's like fire truck dealerships. Does he think it's like really loud pipes on like a low rider? Look, and this noise is so fucking loud. We don't even know what direction he's coming from because he's not supposed to use this thing beside a church. Okay, we don't even know where he's coming from. All that we know is that there's a huge sound coming down the street. A lady tried to move because of this man, and she got crushed to death in her wheelchair because he's using this sand. I never understood these types of dudes who flip out over noise in cities when they could just live in the middle of nowhere for no money. Look, his name I mean, this guy, it's like this guy hates it hot, and he moved to hell. Look, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicles. Seven vehicles, you know he doesn't have to make this noise. So this guy screams all day about look, fire trucks. Look, look, seven vehicles. Amazing. Look, and a terrorist in a vehicle. Look, seven vehicles. Look, terrorism. Terrorism in Toronto, seven vehicles. He calls them terrorists. Look, seven vehicles. It's so funny, too, because, look. like, I get, like, hating the cops or, you know, whatever. Or other, like, uh... You know, public officials, but firefighters, it's like all literally all they do is put out fires. That's truly amazing. They're pretending someone else did it. Like they don't they don't arrest people. They don't you know, they don't break in your house when they're not supposed to be there. They don't infringe upon your rights. They literally they just they have big hoses and ladders and hats. What you're doing it. Look, eight vehicles. Right, look, the fire department. Look. What a fixation to have. To condemn the building. These guys keep coming back. It's over. funny because this guy's like a train enthusiast, but the opposite. This guy, he all day long, he films these big vehicles and he can't stand them. He's really, the, he's really the same as a train enthusiast. There's really no difference. They're both fucking and crazy people. This guy just has higher blood pressure than the guys that stand by trains and hop up and down like, uh, you know, young Japanese girls when they make a hole in one in a, a golf video game. God bless him. That's yeah, very funny. Jake with the 10 says, Ben, I emailed you an unlisted YouTube video from that gay barbershop in Omaha. Enjoy. Okay. Hopefully my email doesn't have anything that's... Uh Personal? Okay, nothing personal. Okay, good. Swinging in for a little bang trim today, right? Yep. Okay, yep. so what are you thinking you want to do with your bangs? 
<laughs> By the way, I just want to say, who sent me this? Jake, great title. Very, very good. Very good, my friend. This is absolutely amazing. Can people see it or no? I got to scroll down. Okay, there you go. Now people can see it. This is truly incredible. Let me uh let me zoom out here. Sorry guys, I'll get the I had to change it cuz I'm not doing the zoom stuff anymore. So, I think it'll just be me on the live streams for the foreseeable future. I mean, I have a lot of fun doing these and uh Dude, yeah, that should be easier to see now. Um, just more of like a shag instead yeah. of just grown out mullet. So, yeah. okay. I missed the beginning. Did she ask for permission to touch Swinging her? Swinging in for a little bang trim today, right? Yep. Okay. Well, so what are you thinking you want to do? With it's so funny to have a girl that's this fat and say she was swinging in as if she is a gorilla or a wrecking ball. Swinging in for a little bang trim today, yeah, right? She's, oh, she's okay, so swinging what are you all right. What you want to do with your bangs? Um, just more of like a shag instead yeah. of just grown out mullet. So yeah. just a little bit, like maybe some layers and some more off the top of the sides. But the sides, I like the length of right now. Got it. So just kind of this to be trimmed. I see it so too. Shape. I see it too. It needs to be relayered. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And there needs to be weight removed. Yeah. Like definitely in these corners. I agree. Is it okay if I touch you? Yep, okay, cool. So like this stuff right yeah. here. Absolutely. So my next question. Look, she always, okay, cool. she, so always like she always she always right knows. Here. She sneaks it in now. Absolutely. So But like she knows okay, if I touch you? Yep, okay, cool. she knows so she's like gonna say yes. Stuff. Look, like look. It's a definitely in these it's corners. a it's a pointless question to ask. Look, look at her face when she asks it. I agree. Is it okay if I touch you? Yep, okay, cool. cool. So like this stuff. Come on. Right yeah. here. Enough Absolutely. Of, enough. So my next question for you when we're uh, trimming your bangs. Is this is by the way, this gay barbershop is in Omaha, Nebraska. Is it is Omaha, Nebraska just like Dan Schneider guys and also trans Dan Schneider guys? Is that all we're working with here? The only people that live there are pedophiles and like the actual Nickelodeon slime that pedof they dump on kids. I mean, look at this bitch. She looks like the fucking Nickelodeon logo. She probably has a, a reptar tattoo, this stupid bitch. God, where did she get overalls that big, by the way? <laughs> did she go to a like a big and tall like roofer store? What about the length that it is now? So if we could maintain the length that bitch, your bangs why are you are wearing overalls? Wait, would you want that? Or do you also Bitch, what are you working on? You, what are you wearing overalls for, you fat bitch? I want to trim up the length as well. I'm good with removing some length. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, they're a little heavy, a little low, so. What are we thinking when I start to move this up? Where yeah, that's good. So like mid forehead. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna repeat back to you really quick okay. what we're doing with these bangs. We are addressing the fullness through the sides, for yes. sure. Um, by layering and removing weight. And then we are also going to go ahead and pop up the length as well. Yeah. And Perfect. so when we trim it, we have trimmed it, you know, like this, where it's a little bit shorter in the middle and then goes to something longer. Are you wanting that sort of shape? Or are you wanting something maybe a little bit more straight? Across? By the way, you got to be really dead inside to fucking dress like this. To dress like this. To not be a kindergartner kindergarten teacher to just be like so fat that you're gay that you have to dress like this you have to be so dead inside that's what were you thinking there maybe a little bit more blunt Ooh, yes yeah. so then i want to clarify so if we do it blunt and we kind of square it off more is what yeah. i'm thinking yeah this all comes up too and you have like a kind of like a heavier line yeah. down through here i think that'd be good i love that idea okay you're surprising me today, and I'm so excited. This one's yes. something. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Man, I need to. I need to have a loaded gun at my desk because that would have that deserved a few shots into my ceiling. Heavier line yeah. down through here. 
I think that'd be good. I love that idea. Okay. You're surprising me today, and I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Something new. Yes. yes. Okay. It's so cute. I love it. Thank you. I love it. It's going to show off your glasses. Yeah. So good. Oh, I okay. can't wait to see your glasses. So, um, here's I, what I'm, I'm guessing it's the big, like, Sandy Wexler glasses. Since yeah. we're growing it, out. It can't, it can't be. Mullet, or or she's going to go the other way where she does the really small, like, Mother Goose glasses bullshit. Where women just give up and they start pretending they're a seventy-eight-year-old grandmother. But everything really short around the face. Yeah. We need to have less of a section in your bang because of how fucking thick your hair is. Yeah. So that. It is funny when someone's like four hundred fifty pounds and they're when someone's like four hundred fifty pounds. They're like, my hair looks good. My hair looks really good today. right here mm -hmm. is getting grown out from that like hard hard Four, 400 pound people would be like my hair i have really good hair though i like i have i have really nice hair that yeah we did and oh so we yeah oh this you know i am 450 out, pounds okay. layered it, but like i like, my hair this i got nice hair the overall silhouette of the shape and have a smaller bang section okay if we're gonna wear it like short so that we can still so it's not just so much hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like this is going to start. Oh, Jake, this but was a good submission. that area out, took the length off, kind of squared it up. Really hard. hate yeah. these videos. We, do you have really glasses? hate her. I do. They're over there. Let me. Here we go. Drum there. roll. Okay. Drum roll. Let's see what they are. So cute. Love. Yes. Yes. So perfect. Oh, thanks so much, Abby. All righty. <laughs> you just look insane. Look fucking insane. Yeah. We do you have your glasses? Yes. Yeah, you look great. Yeah, you look awesome. You'll be you look awesome. You'll be dead in a year. No, you look great. No, you're gonna have a stroke and and lose all feeling in your lower extremities in about six months. No, you look great. You smell it you I could smell the shit in your ass. No, you look great. You smell like shit. I'm kidding. She looks real, very nice, and I'm glad she she feels confident in her new haircut. She paid nine thousand dollars for. I'm glad you. I'm glad you went and got a nine thousand dollar haircut at the queer barber shop where you feel safe. You know, God forbid you. By the way, God forbid you support. You know the 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 Chonga down the street who runs her own salon. She her her. Mother came here. She swam across the Rio Grande, made her way up to shit eating Nebraska to Omaha. She opened up her own salon. She charges 15 bucks and you don't feel safe in there because she's like, there's like a, a Virgin Mary on the wall. So you have to, you have to go over to, uh, you have to pretend it's woke though, that you're going over to this white cunt, this gay white cunts salon to pay 850 fucking dollars for your haircut. You fucking cabbage patch doll bitch. The only cabbage patch doll that's never eaten cabbage. Look at this fat bitch. She looks like she unrolls Kit Kats from the wrapper and smokes them like cigarettes in her car. <laughs> ah, all right. Anyway, um, any plans for live shows in Northern California? Yes, we're trying to plan something soon. We want to go to San Francisco. We'd love to see you guys here in Stockton or the Bay Area. Yes, we're gonna. We want to do the Bay Area. Lance Goodthrust with the ten says, "Ben, you ever hear of Kohlberg? He's a Nazi Germany's most expensive film, filmed in color. It cost eight million Reich marks, and it was Joseph Goebbels' passion project." No, let's look it up. Ooh. Oh, the full thing is up. Oh, it's about Napoleon. But, uh, so, uh, let me get this straight. This was made by Nazis? Hmm. Very good. Very funny they uh, remastered it. 
He said it was made by Himmler? Or Joseph Goebbels Passion Project. Does Hitler, like, have a cameo or something? <laughs> Wait, I thought this was about Napoleon. Why are they, like, doing a... They're doing the German march. Based on the siege of Kohlberg during the Napoleonic Wars, the film portrays the heroic Christmas Prussian town of Kohlberg against the French army led by Napoleon. Yeah, but they're doing the like, 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 like they're doing the Erica march. <laughs> the I mean, it doesn't look like a bad place to live. Like, it looks like a nice community. I don't see anybody uh, doing anything wrong, necessarily. The kids all seem happy. Uh, seems like a nice, warm, and loving community. I will say, you know, I don't know if I could live in a town like this. There's no... Uh, I do get like butter chicken and garlic naan like once a week and I don't really see any diversity here. I do like chicken tandoori. Nicht, dass ich den Bürgern ihre Kohlsuppe koche. Komm mal her. This movie actually looks pretty good. I'd watch the shit out of this. Thanks for the recommendation. I don't know if it's uh, racist. Cause just because Nazi Germany made it and funded it doesn't mean it like, if you've listened to, the, like, I have a Jim Jones record, the guy who made everybody, you know, drink the Kool-Aid because Haley's Comet was coming. I've listened to his sermon on the record, and pretty damn good. And I pretty much agree with everything he's saying about, like, God and Jesus and salvation and stuff. You know, uh, who's to say that uh, the most evil man in the world couldn't, uh, you know, make something beautiful? And... I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's just the it, the movie's about Napoleon. It doesn't mean that, you know, I mean, separate the art from the artist here a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Eli with the 10 says, the attack on the LP Discord yesterday wasn't planned. Some of our members are rogue. Please don't hate us. Jack is treating us like Palestinians and threatening all of us for one guy's actions. Love you all. Eli, I love you, buddy. Thanks for coming out to the live shows. I genuinely have no idea what you're talking about. I've n I have no idea what you're talking about. You guys need to figure it out over there in the Discord. And and please don't involve me. And Eli, I love you. You're a Yellow King. I've you've come to two shows now. You're you're a good man. You ate a bunch of McDonald's on stage and then you threw up and you fist bumped Shane Gillis. And I'll always love you for that. But you gotta figure out this thing with the Discord. I don't know what's going on. I don't like thinking about it. I I barely know what it is. I appointed people on Discord because people were sharing porn links and posting Nazi imagery, and that was going to get our Discord kicked off. So I literally just need... I told Jack when I saw her in person, I'm like, you're just hell, Hell's Janitor. That's all you are. You're Hell's Janitor. You're just... You're going through and, you know... Anyway, it's exhausting to think about. Drew Klein with the 499 says, Tim Pool's wonderful audience finally revealed. Great video. I don't know about you guys, but one mystery that's always interested me is, and I often think about this as I go about my daily tasks, but it's picturing the guys who listen to a certain guy. Is what this I like mean a is, video essay? There are so many shows out there these days, and some of them are actually baffling. Hi, like <laughs> oh, I'm Brad. Just some of these shows, man. All I can wonder is who the hell listens to this? 
All right, I got to turn a light like on. I got to turn a light on. Keep watching. Their heads, their shapes. What strain of human are they? Not sure if you guys are familiar with the strains of human theory, but there are only around 84 strains of human. No, this is not a race thing. This is just categorizing of strains of human via basic observation. I believe science will one day tell us that these two are, in fact, of the same strain of human. I know another guy that is also of this strain, but he's someone I know in real life, and you guys wouldn't have heard of him. But trust me, guys, he's also of this strain. Maybe you know someone of this strain as well. Think about it. And look, if you disagree about my categorization, I don't care, because that's fine. If you've been blessed with a triple okay, what did I miss? as I have, then I'd love to hear about your organization of people into strains in the comments below. But anyways, guys, I wish I could see the audiences of some of these shows, like this know. guy. They just watched him do a bunch of miracles, but they're still doubting him. That's us. Hmm. We know yeah, what we got. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get what's going on. He's just, he's baffled why everybody watches bad content. I'm not. Everybody's a fucking retard. I'm surprised anybody uh, listens to anything good and anything good is ever made. Tim Cast, well, he hosted some kind of live in-person summit somewhere for his wonderful broadcast. And like I said, this guy's show is high up on my priority list when it comes to joyously imagining what the audience looks like. So I kind of clicked on this thing, not really expecting anything at all when much to my surprise, only three minutes into the show. Very cheeky, by the way, for you guys to save this angle for the big reveal. That's great directing. But suddenly, without warning, the director of this wonderful stream cuts to a brand new surprise. I mean, is Tim Pool even real? Had some of the stress of harboring that mystery. So this is the actual, like because he did a live guys, thing, this know, is the actual audience? This gift, this insight. Yeah, these are the people listening. They're They're all useless worthless retards retard retard marine jarhead retard Pro he probably wasn't even in the marines he just wears that hoodie useless retard uh persian retard yeah they're all middle-aged losers these are all people that feel powerless within their own lives and they think if they you know listen to tim pool that they're going to make the world a better place again and it's what keeps them going. Complete and total worthless retard right here. This guy is dressed like Tim Pool. He has the beanie and everything. Fat dumbass, you know, sovereign citizen guy. Yep, I don't see anybody that I'd want to speak to. Cowboy hat guy in the back, no. Hmm. I gotta say, we we sold a lot more seats for Lemon Party Live, Tim Pool. You know, maybe you've just been grandfathered into this shit show. Uh, Nate Harger with the four ninety nine says, "More like Dylan Fartnum." Very, very, very good. Dylan, come back though. A ridiculous production with the 10 says, Ben, watch Custom Grow 420 addresses the assault charges. Custom Grow 420. Caitlin Ortega, you know it. Oh my God, this is the weed guy that we watched the other day. The guy who smokes a lot of weed. What happened with the hatches and machetes at Silicon? Um, we went out to the park. Stay thirsty, my retards. Get drunk, and then a couple of my homies ran up on some other people and robbed them, and I went up and backed them up. Uh, we did a pretty crazy robbery. It was me, six co-defendants. We had like 23 victims. Ran around. Friends beat up a lot of people. Robbed them. Some people got their jaws broke. Some people got hit in the face with machetes. Uh, some people got airlifted out of there to Harborview Medical Center with broken jaws to get wired up. It was a horrible, horrible thing. It was crazy. But I was young. <laughs> Who are these people watching live? This fucking hardcore fucking... This gang of juggalos. We ran the town. And uh, I was really down at that time. And anything that my homies were doing, I had their back. Is he sitting so in the furniture section of like a Walmart? And then, uh, Where the hell is he? We all got fucking, we all got cooked, man. They came looking for us. Everybody went on the run for months. Started getting us one at a time. Fucking 
people it is funny around. guys like they this got us all. guys like this if they smoke weed and they do like b and e's they pretend when they talk about those days they they talk as if they're pablo escobar or something no yeah it's like narcos very good booked, you're just you're just a high shithead uh, who just like stole first, tvs my charges were nine robberies in the first degree and six assault twos that was for my charges. Then when it was all fucking done and over with, I ended up pleading guilty to two robberies in the first degree. Took a strike and went to fucking prison. Got a 41 month. Honestly, uh, but sentence. then weed saved my life. Once I found weed. Uh, and I still ended up having to do 41 months. <laughs> like uh, one dude got 11 years, 13 years, 9 years, 7 years. Uh, and the one kid who snitched, he still got 31 months. So yeah, it was a pretty gnarly, pretty. Gnarly I would snitch. I would snitch. Blown up in the media. Why would I go down for him? These guys are always butthurt about that. It's like, who would take the fall for you? You 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 wear a big flat brim hat that just says weed. Gives a shit. Yeah. Well, I'm supposed to take a bullet for you. It's in the news, and then uh, we all got fucking nailed. We all got fucking thrown in the joint. And everybody did their time and got out. And that's what happened. Oh. The joint. Got thrown. We, we got thrown in the joint. Fucking gangsters. We're, we were. Yeah, you guys were gangsters. End up in the fucking joint. You guys were gangsters straight up. No yeah, joke. dog. Now I think we went through one. Now we went through one order of it. Yeah. Oh, he's at a Chinese restaurant. Guy has a great life. He fights with his wife. Fuck! I fucking love my fucking wife, man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 There's like a whole rap sheet on this guy on the internet about him being a dick. Oh, by the way, everybody check out Mike Racine's special, I'm Normal. He has a big ass wife who yells at him. This is awesome. The dude is married to like a. Oh, this rules. Dude, you're married to a pregnant dog. Just, just leave her and jack off. Dudes in relationships like that are so funny. Oh shit, we're still fucking alive in this fucking house? Mega faggot. Unfucking believable. <laughs> Who said mega faggot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just high, so he thinks it's funny. Oh he, shit. So he's so high, he thinks that's his mom. Life. You need to stop everything. What are you doing with your life? Look at you. Yeah, Sit. I don't care. Uh, Norm hacked on him with the five. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for the five. Harrison with the 999 says, L.A. show was great. Thank you for everyone that came out to the L.A. show. That was fun. We packed that out. John omittedly, and I think I could, with the live shows, I don't want to put out every single live show, but I guess for the people on the $25 tier, I might start just recording the live shows and putting them out there if you really want to see them, and that way I can... Uh, give the Yellow King some content that no one else has access to. I mean, that seems fair to me. Some people don't seem to want the live podcast as Patreon episodes, and I'm not going to give you guys two Patreon episodes a week, but I'm just going to start putting some uh, the li all the live shows. I'll film them, mix them, and then just put them on that 25 tier. I think that's fair. I mean, a lot most people don't want to see the live shows anyway, so... Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, but it said LA show was great. John admittedly cried rapping me three times. What are your thoughts on Top Golf? <clears throat> um, oh Harrison, I Harrison, you're a Yellow King. I know who you are. I talked to you in the parking lot. You're a nice guy. Thoughts on Top Golf? I've never actually been. I do want to go. I've heard it's really really expensive though. I'm guessing there's a bunch of loud retards there who don't know anything about golf, so I'd probably hate it. I'd, it'd probably suck my ass. If it was empty, 
For one on a night where it's empty, it looks like it would probably kick ass, though. Norm MacDonald with the five says, Cat Williams on Rogan by Norm MacDonald. I couldn't wait till I got seven because that was going to be the start of my first life. Why'd you break it into sevens? Just randomly? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know what randomly means. Um, I couldn't wait till I got seven because that was going to be the start of my first life. Why'd you break it into sevens? Just randomly? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know what randomly means means um i couldn't wait till i got seven <laughs> oh he kicks ass very good yeah he really kicks ass spencer st dennis with the 499 says another insane man you need to see is sean b council bluffs iowa he lives by the train tracks and is convinced we the engineers are harassing him sean b council bluffs iowa So this guy's username is literally just his name and his address. This is going to be probably pretty good. Council Bluffs, Iowa. Um, and what's the Sean B. Council Bluffs, Iowa? It's got to be these videos, I'm guessing. It's just the username is not the... Here we are. The weekend asshole blocking the fucking street. Look at this. Just the where he's blocking the street. Parked right outside of my house. Again, it's a guy who hate tra hates trains and he lives next to them. Is there a reason you're blocking the street? Is there a reason you're blocking the street? Okay. Yeah, you can't back up 10 feet, huh? No? Just impossible? <laughs> I've never seen somebody harass a train conductor in my life. <laughs> That's so insane. To be like, hey, roll your window down. Yeah, you driving the train. I got something to say to you. Necessary. Hey, I, I gotta lend me your ear. Carry to railroad operations to block a street like this. No, you can move it back five feet. That's that's perfectly possible. I see you backing up in front of my house all the time. I know you can do it. All right, so yeah, go ahead Get and laugh back up and a smile. Train. On this. Yeah, you're gonna be on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna <laughs> complain about you too. No, you can back up 10 feet. You have no business being here. Why are you here? What are you picking up, huh? What are you picking up? No, they weren't. My house was built in 1900, and the Rock Island Railroad built these railroad tracks. So you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. Get out of my neighborhood. How's that sound? You got no reason to be here. Get out of my neighborhood. Stop harassing my neighbors. It's so funny to talk shit to a train. Like, it's, it's kind of like the biggest thing there is, really. <laughs> You're talking shit to something that's like 10 miles long and 50 feet high. Yeah. Have you seen the condition of the railroad tracks? <laughs> this guy talks shit it's because to people trains. Like you are sitting here on the tracks all day long for no reason. That's why all these tracks are torn up. Any given day now, you're going to have a derailment, and I'm going to have you on the Internet laughing your ass off at me. How's that sound? I'm going to have you on the internet laughing your ass off at me. <laughs> so, can I help you? Hi, Sean. Hi. Hi. I'm here because you were calling the UPS about 15 <laughs> times complaining about the train. I <laughs> uh, he harasses trains so much the police have to arrest him. I asked for a supervisor 15 times and they kept hanging up on me. They kept transferring me to another email. Out of my left ear now. Oh, there we go. If you keep calling them, 
I will come back and I will arrest you for harassment third. <laughs> They've already done that. I beat that. But you can't keep calling them. I will arrest you for harassment third. I do you, not, do you not think it affects well, like our seven job too? Cops. What kind of a coincidence is that? Do you not think that it affects explain, our job too? Explain. I know. And I'm how about you tried... ask for the train schedule? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't tell me how I'm supposed to file a complaint. You can't. Because you called. That's exactly why they, they called, called you. They called because you called 15 times. Because they hung up on me 15 times. Yeah. So if it didn't work the said... first. I love this guy. He talks to the police so long the sun goes down. Amazing. You own a lot of cars. The door would be right here. That's off there. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. See, are you done here? You just love to Are you done here, Murray? You would just love to Are you done? I would love to be, but you're forcing me to continue to... <laughs> Why is this guy being rational with the dude who ha who th hates trains? The guy who films trains. I did not buy a house that was right here. Top 10 statements of the year, undoubtedly. <clears throat> that guy's great. Uh, Danny... Venatoris with the five says, Hey, Ben, did you ever try green cola, stevia, Coke that tastes pretty close to Coke Zero? No aspartame. No, I haven't. But thanks for reminding me because I was going to get that the other day. Thank you, Danny. I think you sent that to me. I need to try the green Coke Zero. I have a Coke Zero here from Chick-fil-A. I really need to stop doing it because, uh, you know, I need to be around for my, my sweet pea. My sweet, sweet pea. God's node with the ten says first John two twenty three. Oh well, let's let's see what that is. Whoever denies and repudiates the Son does not have the Father. The one who confesses and acknowledges the Son has the. Sorry, I had a bunch of Chick Fil A before this. Like a good Christian. Acknowledges the son has the father also. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's see it now. Let's let's see the King James version of that. So it's actually good. Whosoever denieth the son, the same hath not the father. But he that acknowledgeth the son hath the father also. That's beautiful. We can't deny the son of the... We can't deny the living son of God, my friends. I think... Uh, whether you're Sean B or whether you're a, a big fat guy wearing a NASA t-shirt drinking Everclear, I think we could all use some Jesus Christ, folks. From big country to Joey's world tour, couldn't we all use a little Jesus? In in this in this recipe we call life, couldn't we just use a dash of Jesus, folks? Uh, Austin says, any plans for Seattle slash Portland show? I'm gay and trans and Chinese. Congratulations on being all three of the things that I want to fuck. Uh, love the show. Keep up the good work. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we're planning on, we want to do, um, I don't think we have enough people in Seattle, probably. Maybe we do. Maybe we do, actually. But we figured if we did Portland, then enough people would come from Seattle to Portland. I know it's not that close, but. We're thinking about maybe doing Portland, San Francisco, and um, shit. I forget where else. We're thinking about doing those two for sure. I think this summer, though. I think this summer. Lance Goodthrust with the five says, Ben, I heard you sing Erica. I used to reenact, reenact World War II German Army up here in Oregon. That song is a vitamin. The I don't know what the words actually mean, and I know that it was the chant of uh, the most evil group to ever live is what this is what they say uh but it is catchy that's all i know and i don't know what the words mean so you know i'm i don't think i'm doing anything wrong i just like the beat it's a good ass beat it's it rolls right off the tongue it, it's not i i really approve it's not too shabby of a, of a little chant Wally Dude 22 with the five says, Hi, Ben. Did you catch Aaron Gwynn calling you an outer darky on the last live stream? That's pretty good. No, that slipped by me. Aaron will slip one by you like that. He's a magician. He's a word magician. Buy Aaron Gwynn's books, folks. Buy his book of short stories. Buy his books. Go read his articles on Spectator. At American Gwynn. Harrison with the 999. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the 10. Just giving me a big thumbs up there. Appreciate that, buddy. It's very kind of you. It's very nice. 
Uh, Gareth Carpenter with the 999 says, check out Norman Freeman obese Betty gets upset with McDonald's worker part two. How much for you to watch a Brett Gelman movie? I'd watch a Brett Gelman movie on here if I didn't get banned. If you could find one that's like not copyrighted, that's not going to get me banned. I'll watch a Brett Gelman movie. I love your fat boy arc, by the way. Keep on eating, Tubby. Oh, that hurts my feelings. Fuck you. Ah, fuck. Oh, it actually hurts my feelings. Uh, it really hurts, really upsets me. But thank you. <laughs> thank you for the money. Thank you so much. Thank you for the money. Obese Betty gets upset with a McDonald's worker part two. Yes, ma'am. My baby asks for no people's and there's people's. So money. this is a character, right? Like this isn't a. This, no one actually looks like this, right? No, I want my money back. I don't want no remake with my burger. I want my money back. And why is these fries? These fries is cold. I don't think I can. I move on if this is. Yeah, because the 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 cashier is filming. It has to be fake, right? Or am I, am I a retard? Yeah, this has to be a character. Oh my gosh, these fucking fries are cold. Are you sure? What the fuck? I apologize, ma'am. You want your money back? No, right? I want my refund, and then I want a large fry, and I want it hot. You don't have to steer me, man. I'm talking to him. That's the manager, so you can go back there. How does this person do the makeup this good? It's so really this? incredible. Yes, ma'am. We did ask for a ten-piece nugget. We asked for a ten-piece nugget. Ten-piece nugget. Ten piece. You said what? Oh my fucking gosh! Could you just? I just want to talk to the manager. I don't want to talk to you. Why you record him? Because he's allowed to record. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if you record. You can record and record it to anybody. Oh, I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> give me my refund. Hurry up. Yes, ma'am. I got you. Give me my refund. Oh, we got you. Hurry up. Come on, follow me this way. Give me my fucking refund. She's scared of Give me my fucking refund. I don't give a fuck if y'all record me. So I'm guessing the person that's recording this they doesn't work there guys. and is now sneaking behind the counter to film her. <laughs> what did you order? You said what? What did you order? You want a refund? If you want to know what I ordered, you can look at the receipt. Uh, ma'am, you don't gotta get smart. I'm I didn't get you. smart. I got very fucking so smart. Now give me my... Get... My son is hungry. He was in school all motherfucking day and all he wanted is the right burger. Give me my refund and then right? remake my fries. We got you, ma'am. Oh, gonna, my God. We're going to make is sure. Is that a fucking breakout from the fucking pickles? And my son is breaking out from the fucking pickles? I apologize, ma'am. He's allergic to pickles. Is breaking out? Oh my gosh! I want your corporate number and I want my refund. Yes, you want some refund. The improv's not that good, but her—I can't look away from her neck. And Hurry up with my fucking now, money! Now you can calm down while that now. Damn. Yeah, you can calm down while that. I don't you know. got yeah, this you anorexic twenty-one savage, <laughs> but the motherfucker keeps saying shit to me. You don't gotta get on me. You need to get to the next nearest barber. Get on that motherfucker because he pushed your shit all the way back. Come on, my baby breaking out. Oh, my baby. Oh, come on, baby. Fuck this better ass McDonald's. Yeah, I don't know what anything means or what's going on. And I will uh, I will die in the dark. This I know to be true. I will die in the dark. and I will have no idea what is ever going on uh, around me or in the world. Or I'll watch things and I'll have no idea what I've watched and... That's just that. It's a it's a, a fact of life I've accepted. I have I genuinely have no fucking idea what is going on ever, ever. I never know what I'm looking at or what I'm reading or if if it's even real. And that's a beautiful thing to me. I've just accepted it. Wally dude twenty two with the ten says, "Hey Ben, can you play Virgo gang gay gay?" Welcome aboard Virgo Airlines, flight 23. This is your I'm known to fuck your brother and your sister. Co-pilot exclusive. Both of them. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm about to take this trip around the world to find the best thug shakers. Let's get it. So this this music is copyrighted, so I'd hope we don't uh, get taken down here. Please fasten your seatbelt. 
This I'm gonna listen to as five. little as this as possible. We have reached cruising out. Music is the thing that'll kick the stream off all the time, guys. Just letting you know. 23,000 feet. You can get up and suck a little dick. That nigga ain't straight. That nigga gay gay. That nigga ain't straight. That nigga gay gay. That nigga ain't straight. Nice. That nigga gay gay. Yes. That nigga ain't straight. That nigga gay gay. That nigga ain't straight. They say he dressed too well. Damn, they got like big asses and stuff. Damn. Big gay guys asses. Man, I really hate this. I can't do that because it's it's actually gay and it's fun to joke about and stuff. But the actual act itself, it fucking disgusts me and makes me want to puke. It actually, it's fucking disgusting. And it's a sin in the eyes of God. And it's it's extra bad because it's not white. <laughs> It's so funny. I have to keep looking up here like I'm pleading to God to not, you know, smite me at any moment. I'm the TV is so high up. I don't know if you guys realize this. I have to look at the ceiling to talk to you guys. Human being with the 562. Ben, would you ever do Sam's perfect guy live podcast and form the Brett Gelman Legion of Doom? Yeah, of course. Obviously. Yeah, Sam's great. I love uh I love those guys. I love those guys over there. We could we could the God, we could really take down Brett if we all if we if we just shook each other's hands once, Brett would die. Lance Goodthrust with the five says, uh Ben the lyrics to Erica and a lot of German army marching songs are basically about being in love with the farmer's daughter. Relax. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. See, that's why the that's why I love the song so much because it's about it's about finding a trad wife on a farm. It's about arranged marriages with beautiful young women with big mommy milkers. That's why it, see, it has nothing to do with being racist. It has nothing to do with being a Nazi and it has nothing to do with being a retard. It has everything to do with loving big creamy tits. Big half and half tits. Big, milky, buttery moo, big, big tits that uh, are they're pushed up in the bra and it looks like she's cradling two ostrich eggs. Big, big sandwich bags of cream. Big, uh, big, uh, the bags you bring goldfish home from uh, at PetSmart, those kinds of bags filled with nice 2% milk from a from a high school cafeteria. That kind of milk. That white Elmer's glue milk. The big big jum jums. That's why I like the Erica marching song cuz I love big fat fucking tits that I want to suck on. By the way, if you love big tits, just get your wife pregnant. Her tits blow up like nine times the size. It's awesome. I'm going to keep my wife pregnant forever until it fucking kills her. Just because uh, I like the way it makes her tits look. It's awesome. She's going to be pregnant for the rest of her life. She has no idea what I'm capable of. I will go into debt. It's already somewhat difficult already having one kid and her losing her income. But it's worth it because of the tits. I feel like I'm leasing titties. All right, let's move on. I can talk about tits the rest of my life. Jason Michael with the five says, can you give a shout out to this R-worded family at my job, the Jablonskis? They can't spell salad. Holy shit. Uh, Jason Michael, please follow up with me immediately. How the hell do they spell salad? These f fucking retards, the Jablonskis. How salad. I've Actually, I've seen, I've seen the dumb fucks. I've seen dumb ass... Uh, piece of shit, worth, uh, worthless retards. I've seen people spell salad S A L U D, but if they're spelling it like S A L I D, you gotta kill them. I guess. I mean, we have ten more minutes here in the live stream, but I don't have any more. Uh, I don't have any more chats to read. Let me go over to the people that aren't paying. Let's see what uh, everybody else is saying. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, is Dylan Farnham in the? There's a real Dylan Farnham in here. Is this is this the actual Dylan Farnham? Dylan, are you back? Are you with us, buddy? We want you back. J Man says with the five U and Jays versus Hinchcliffe and Ron White in a golf scramble, who wins and by how many strokes? Tony didn't start playing golf until the pandemic. I've I had dinner once across from Ron White and we talked about golf. He says he's pretty bad. I said I was all state. He said he was an all block in his neighborhood growing up. So he's a funny dude. He had stories about uh, every small West Texas town I lived in. Cause I was like, uh, you know, I, I was in, uh, you know, we moved all over cause my dad was a basketball coach. We were in shallow water. We were in Clarendon, Texas. We were in big spring. We were in Abilene. And he had a story about every single one of the, a crazy, crazy story. That guy was like a true outlaw. That guy fucking rules. And he'd get up from the table at dinner like every seven minutes to smoke more weed and come and sit back down. It's probably because I'm boring as shit. And I was really nervous to be sitting across from him. I think he's the first dude I ever saw do stand-up comedy on TV. I think I watched that tater salad thing like a hundred times. I thought he was funny and like, no, honestly, like Larry the Cable Guy. And like, I didn't think anybody else was funny from like the ages of 10 to 20. And I had really no respect for stand-up until I was like maybe 18. I thought Ron White was really funny. And Larry, I think Larry the Cable Guy kicks ass. Like, I knew it was retarded when I was even 13. Like, I knew it was dumb as shit. But, like, I liked, I thought, I don't know. He's, like, doing the retard arm, running across the stage. He's talking about, like, people shitting themselves. I can get down with it. I can rock out to that. Eli with the five says, what's the one thing Ukraine and Israel have in common? They're both chewing us down. Also, I got my college abstractions published. Mind if I email them? Why would you email them to me, Eli? Sure, you can email them to me. I mean, I, I might skim them. People email me crazy shit all the time. Why not? Rocco. Oh, Rocco said war mode on Philly show. We will be in Philly for a while. I mean, I don't know if that stage is big enough to have Billy and Spud on, but... I'm hoping we can meet Billy and Spud and, uh, you know, uh, I've been texting with Butterly and uh, I, I think Rainey messaged me. He wants us to do his show, so we'll do his show. I, I'm not really sure of the details of everything. I get messages and texts and I just forget what's really going on until like the day of or the day before. But we'll be doing stuff with those guys for sure. Live show, I mean, I'm sure we'll have Butterly do stand-up before at the very least, or or Rainy as well. We're going to pack out the Philly show. Come out to that. Lemonparty.life. Buy tickets. Show up, Philly. Let's sell that fucker out. Let's have a good night. Florida Gator with the five says, Ben likes big honking mommy milkies, unlike his homosexual brother, Jace. Dude, do you think I love big tits? I think the only thing Jace loves in this world is big tits. I actually prefer, I'll be completely straight up with you. I prefer like a Big Mac to a titty. Uh, motherfucker, I love food. I love food. No, nah, maybe I love a big titty more. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. With me, it's checks and balances. You know, I have a big scale in my mind. On one side is a is a big milk white titty. And on the other side is a Big Mac with extra sauce. So I never know really where I stand in terms of this. My yin and my yang is uh, to the yin and the yang symbol kind of looks like two big titties, by the way, a black titty and a white titty. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it looks like two big titties that are like uh, pushing up against each other, huh? Do Chinese people get horny, by the way? What is their whole deal over there? Are they, are they, what is with the, it, I think, I feel like in China, sex to them is like, it's just a way to get out their own evil. It's not really about like procreating and stuff. They just, uh, Chinese people are so confusing to me. They just, uh, I think they, uh, I think they fuck to channel evil from some like ancient realm. Every time they fuck, it invites a spirit into this world that 
uh, you know, cuts another thin, thin thread that the universe hangs by. That's why they eat like 1,000 year old eggs and shit. Anyway, um, pledged up 95 with the $2 says you guys should come to Spokane for a show and golf. Let me make sure I haven't missed anybody. Let me change the chat filter here. Uh, pledged up 95 says you guys should come to Spokane for a show and golf. I don't know if we're a big enough show to sell enough in Spokane. That's the thing. Like we don't, you guys are telling us to come to towns where I don't know if we could sell more than like, you know, 50 tickets or something. So, uh, it depends, you know, we're going to do another East coast run after we do this, uh, because we're, we're booking ourselves at two smaller venues, which is good. We wanted to sell out the shows, but we just didn't know if anyone... I didn't know if we'd go to New York and only sell like 50 tickets. I had no idea. So, you know, we did a, took a gamble and did bigger venues than I than I thought, but still we sold those out kind of too quick. So we were like, ah, shit, we should be doing stuff that's much bigger. So we'll, we'll, we'll see with all that stuff. But, like, if you live in Spokane, like, you're probably going to have to come to, you know, Portland or Seattle or something. I'm sorry. Hey, but the L.A. show, people flew down from Washington. We had very nice people come from Washington. Very nice guys. Very, very, very nice gentlemen come down from Washington. I shook their hands. I, I licked their penises. I smelled their assholes. I fucked their wives. And they smoked me out. And we had a good time. Edward Joseph with the 10 says, look up rat pencil case. I've been making rat pencil cases. I found a better way of filming it one-handed. So you can see there's a zip on the spines. They do open. The zips are always different because, you know, it's hard to find I the really same zip this. over and over. And the rats, as you can see, are different. This one. Does the gray. pencil come out of its this ass? black. That one over there is white. The white one's mine. I, I keep that for videos when I've not got one made, but I do have some made. Uh, so, uh, is this you some Scottish retard? There's, there's loads of other stuff, though, as well. Like, look at this, Scottish this retard. rabbit leg necklace that I've made. And there's, uh, there's these as well. Little eerie creatures. Little S is a little mouse with real mouse ears attached to it, as you can see. A bit different to the rat's ears there. I get asked, oh, why don't you use rat's ears? But look at them, mate. Look at the look at the quality there of the mouse ears compared to the rat ears. The rat ears would look weird on this, wouldn't it? Worldaroundyou.com if you're interested. And if if you like my videos and that, mate, give us a follow. Go and listen to me podcast and that. It all you know, it all helps me out. Very upsetting. Very upsetting Scottish guy. Who shouldn't be allowed to have a computer or a phone? Or really like food or water or access to, a, a, you know, access to, a, you shouldn't have access to anything that, you know, tax paying citizens get trash, plumbing, you know, any, any of that stuff. He should, if he wants to do that, he can, but he can't have anything that we have and he has to live in the woods like a hermit and he can't, he just can't, if you ever come across him and he has shelter of any kind, like a rock thing with bunch of wood over him you should be allowed to kill him he should have to sleep if it rains he just has to sleep in the rain if it snows he has to sleep in the snow those are the rules if he's going to do some bullshit like this that's those are the rules wally dude 22 with the five says i forgot to say that virgo gang song was about john Knopf. very good john is gay john is very gay Lance Goodthrust with the five says, God bless you, God bless Devin, and God bless your brother. Love you guys. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, Lance Goodthrust. Very good. That's very kind of you. Harrison with the 499 says, you should you should the chicken from Yami Sushi Saki and Attitude in Santa Monica. Better than chicken filet and great sushi at a cheap price for sushi. Santa Monica's so far from me, buddy. I'm not on the west side. The chicken from Yama, Sushi, Saki, and Attitude in Santa Monica. I'll try to remember if I'm ever over there again, which I probably never will because I don't leave the house. But if I'm ever over in Santa Monica again, uh, I'll pick up I'll pick up some of that chicken and I'll pick up a nice bag of heroin to shoot into my ass. Eli with the two says, should I abandon my friend to protect myself? Yes. Absolutely. 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 
You know, it says uh, Jesus dined with the tax collectors, but he didn't say he, you know, made them his roommates. You know what I mean? You know, what are you supposed to be? Uh, you supposed to let the devil nuzzle your cheek every day? You think you're going to change him? You're not going to change him. Folks, I've tried. You think you're going to change the devil? You're not. You're not. And you're and you're a fool to try. But uh, if you do try, you, you, I admire your courage and your bravery and your heart because there's always that small, small chance that uh, that uh, fallen angel who did become the devil himself, uh, you know, turns back from that road to perdition and uh, finds the light of Christ again. But to answer your question, no, Eli, uh, you should abandon your friend to protect yourself. You absolutely should. I'm not a guy that gives advice to people, but look, I know I know a thing or two uh, about this world is that, uh, you know, you can kind of only save yourself. So, yeah, you should absolutely abandon your friend. Absolutely abandon your friend. A, a, a friend isn't some guy who's, if he's drowning, he wants to drag you into the river with him. That's not a friend. A friend is, uh, a, a friend is someone who uh, wouldn't do something like that. A friend would have your best interest in mind. That's a, that's an actual friend. If someone's not loyal and they don't have your best interest at heart, that's not a friend. That's a that is a uh, someone who needs a host, uh, and they are a parasite. You guys should watch a movie by Ingmar Bergman called Persona. Kind of talks all about this with friendship, close friendship, it, and um, the vampiric nature of some people. It's a very good movie, and if you like that, you should watch Wild Strawberries too. But anyway, folks, that's been the stream for today. We had a good time. I'll do this next week, too. I think this was a lot of fun. I had a, I had a good time with you guys. Some very good videos that we watched. And it doesn't look like there's any more Super Chat, so it's past 7. Uh, I think that's good. About 5 to 7, that's a, that's a good amount of time. So much love to everybody. Stay safe. If you see Dylan Farnham out there, tell him to come back. We love you, buddy.